welcome to another edition of Yorkshire Chris Weekly. On this week's episode, I'll be doing lots of digging and planting seeds. And so I had these seeds soaking for a few days. I've changed the water several times to keep it fresh. And now I'm just going to sow them into a standard sized seed tray, which is filled up with multi-purpose compost and perlite. And these are going to be surface sown, like this. So there they are, evenly spaced out over the compost. And I'll just put a tiny layer of compost over the top. Don't want to exclude too much light, so just a little bit like that. I'll water that well, and then put that in the propagator and keep it nice and moist. And hopefully, in one to three months, we'll see some shoots appearing. So I've been playing about with the wooden posts that I'm creating the paths in the garden, and I've changed my initial design idea so basically the first area of the garden where the vegetable plot is there the old greenhouse there and this area here I'm going to completely gravel over from those beds on the right all over this grass area gravel over where all that greenhouse is I'll take away all that so all this will be gravelled open area for now and in future a greenhouse will be built in this area but not for several years and then the path will be going forward so it doesn't have to be just those stepping stones but all this will be gravel here so we have to walk straight into the garden this way and then let's go down the path so it's wide enough to get a wheelbarrow down wide enough for plants just to go over the edges like this tree fern and then it will take quite a steep corner but it's wide at this point here we'll put a post in between those two and it turns looking this way and then on the ground it opens it widens here because one part will go towards the jungle hut here and the other towards the bridge into the second half of the garden. So if I do an overview looking back you can see the path has an acute corner there but that will create a planting area where that washing line is at the moment there's some tall plants there so you won't see a full view down the garden until you've come around this corner and facing the jungle hut so as you can see I've done lots more digging dug over down to spade depth of soil in this area here and going where the greenhouse is there I'll carry on digging just to the side of it and this is the sunny half of the garden so if I just turn this way this will all be planted up with plants that light the sun. Got the trachycarpus at the back. But there are lots of sun worshipping annuals for the first year or two while the trachycarpus get established behind. Same here where this greenhouse is, be lots of sun worshipping plants. And then on the shady side, which I've yet to start digging, that's where some of the taller shade tolerant plants will go. And that will include moving out some of these fatsias that I've got sort of overrun by the bamboo above. I'll move them out a metre or so to create more space for the plants so you can see them individually. But we will get some nice tall plants in here as well to get a real jungle feel. I want the plants to be well above my head on this side and in time the annuals will be replaced with trees and bamboos and shrubs so again it'll be nice and tall in this area so it'll be much more enclosed. So that's the plan. I think the main bit really is changing this area to all gravel all in this area just because it's easy to do and it can be moved out of the way when I do replace that greenhouse with a new one and demolish this greenhouse and plant up that area in the future. So that's the plan. 
Right, that's enough digging for one day. Starting to heal now. I've covered quite a lot of area digging over this very heavy clay. And the weather for the week ahead now is looking cold. Not super cold, but proper winter weather with frost pretty much every morning. Chance of a little bit of snow in places, definitely minus two, minus three overnight, several nights this week. And daytime highs of three, four, or five at best. So it's time if you haven't to wrap up some plants or rewrap plants if you haven't done so. Mine will basically carry on as they are. It's definitely too early to be planting out stuff and unwrapping things because it's proper winter ahead for the next few weeks. So the digging's done for this week. Join me next week for another Yorkshire Chris Weekly where I'll be carrying on digging and carrying on with a plan in the garden. Join me then.